Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick, and in today's quick tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to generate a report in the HubSpot CRM. So once you log into HubSpot CRM, of course, you'll come to the home screen. Now, in order to generate reports inside of our HubSpot CRM system, we need to go to the Reports tab up the top left-hand corner here, use the drop-down menu, and then go to Reports. Now, you can see here we're now on our Reports page, and we've got a few tabs on the left-hand side. We've got My Reports, Favorites, Custom Reports, and save from library and then we've also got reports that are on dashboards and not on dashboards so i'll run you through each of these my reports are the reports that you've created you've added from the library you've got favorites and you can favorite any report by just starring that particular report custom reports unfortunately in this free version of hubspot i cannot create custom reports however in the future i will be doing a video on how to create a custom report and then you've got save from library and the, all uh, reports from the free version will be saved from the library um, the library is essentially what hubspot has provided and it gives us an array of different uh, report generating options which i will show you in a moment's time then we've got on dashboards so commonly you add these um <clears throat> you add these reports to dashboards so then when you log onto your dashboard you can see all the reports and all the data associated with those particular reports really useful tool ensuring that you're um, getting a really good oversight of all the data and everything that's going on in the crm system and consequently your business and then we've also got not on dashboards as well we've got a few options up here dashboard any own by update date etc nothing too exciting and then if you want to generate or find a report that would be suitable for you just go to the report library button up the top right hand corner here press that button and then you can clearly see here we have report content and we can filter by so we have an array hundreds if not thousands of reporting options inside of hubspot and if you scroll through uh, feel free to do so you can clearly see there's 174 so slight exaggeration on the 1000 there but if you look on the left hand side you can see report content and we've got all the different reports for all the different things or <coughs> modules inside of the hubspot system so you can see here if we wanted to see revenue related reports we just tick that and then you can see we have closed revenue by source as a report company re revenue by conversion so we've got a whole host of different options and again if we wanted to go to tasks for example just untick the one uh, the one that you were on tick the new one you can see here again like team activity totals team activities by date these are loads of good options really good options really good reporting tools now if you wanted to then if you decided that you found a report that's suitable for you what you need to do is press save report this will add it to the home page um, automatically and you give it a name uh, and you can also add this report to a dashboard you don't have to so it's uh, automatically selected don't add to dashboard but if you'd like to you can select add to existing dashboard select the dashboard or you can add to a new dashboard and then you'd have to go through the dashboard creation process as well i'm just going to select add to existing dashboard and select my test dashboard as the dashboard i'm going to add this report to press save and add and then you can see here that it clearly states that the team activities total has been saved to my test dashboard now if you then head back using the back button you'll be able to see the report you can't see it at the moment i recommend just giving the browser a refresh and it will now turn up and then you, as you can see we've got a team activity totals if you press that you'll then generate the report and you'll get the data and on the left hand side we can add additional filters like our rolling date range last 30 days compared to 30 days before and then engagement filters as well so if you can change the activity types that you're seeing this is entirely up to you what you what you decide to do but these are really useful tools and it allows you to customize the reporting functions even further and then if you exit out of this i'm just going to show you what that report now looks like on my dashboard so if you go to the reports tab up the top left hand corner here and then go to dashboards you can now clearly see that my test dashboard has the team activity totals on it which is the report that we added moments ago to the dashboard if we then head back to reports and go to reports down the bottom here you can then if you like favorite as i mentioned earlier or if you wanted to delete um, a particular report just go to the actions have a number of different options rename clone move export change owner remove from dashboard if you'd like or just delete so you can see those are the different options and that is how to use dashboards in your hubspot crm system i hope this video has clearly explained how to generate a report in hubspot crm 
If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.